everything is so important. You're so passionate for you, for you. It's your passion. You're so passionate to it that you are willing to go to war and kill and get killed. It's to that degree. It's interesting that most of us, most humanity go through lifetimes. Not just one lifetime, life, lifetimes. And keep missing. Keep missing the very truth of life. Keep going through this cycle, living every day, being in contact with life, being in now, yet completely missing what you're in and the vastness of it because the mind is conditioned to miss it, and it's very passionate about it. And it will come up with all kinds of justifications. Great reasons, logic, to miss, to miss this. Simply here this moment, missing this moment. And the vastness that this moment offers. But the it's not like you've never tasted it or you've never been a part of it. You all go to the nature. When you're by yourself, you go to the nature, you go somewhere very beautiful that you love. And that place, let's go, you go on a vacation, you go to Canary Islands, or you're in Hawaiian Islands, or some are very pristine and beautiful, and that nature reflects back to you this part of yourself. So it kind of forces you to dive into the moment. And you kind of disconnect from your story, whatever the story is, whether it's an election coming, or if it's a It's the uh, COVID-19 or whatever is the story. You disconnect from the story or your family or you're going through divorce or your partner's cheating on you or doesn't want to be with you anymore. You're losing one of, you're losing the custody of your children or Whatever is the story that the mind is very engaged with that story. Because the mind is always engaged with things that come and go. And this is what you're missing. This is what we're missing. Of falling back into this place which is here always. And when you go to the nature, you go to somewhere beautiful, it's 
pristine, beautiful beaches, mountains, beautiful ocean, lake, desert, whatever that is. And you're in this place and you're just, ah, unwind. You just relax into this place, into the vastness of the desert, of the ocean. And you dive into it. And then what happens is the mind gets out of the way and you completely feel the vastness. You dive into it. And you're in this place, so you get in a plane and you fly back from Hawaii to wherever you live. And then the misery comes back. Because you allowed yourself to be in here and now into the vastness of the presence, it was a conditioned, conditional vastness because you're so much relating it to something that comes and goes. So even that part should have a beginning and an end. Because we simply don't have the awareness that that is always here. So we're relating to that similar, similarly to the way we relate everything else to. It's got a duration. It's going to come and go. So you go on your vacation. You go to this beautiful, ideal place. You're completely one with existence and yourself and then the week one week travel ends and you come back and you come back to your miserable self and every, all your problems come back and suffering comes back again and naturally you're relating it that if one day I retire and I have enough money or I can create a situation to live there in that place, then I will be experiencing oneness all the time and vastness. That's where the mind associates it with. But that's not true. The reality of it, the truth of it is if you have awareness and you have work on yourself and you come to the recognition of the truth of who you are, the truth of who you are, and you have wor worked on yourself, that's where self-awakening mastery comes. You have self-awakened and mastered your mind that you recognize very clearly that this is a product of the mind and it's been over ruling everything and it's been your master all of your life denying you of what is your natural inheritance and you're being denied from it because you simply have no training, no clue, zero, I would say clue, on how to deal with it.